in that journal or in that case presentation, it concludes that cocaine can be a predisposing factor for aortic aneurysms in a previously healthy young individual. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Joanna B. Miranda and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Dr. Vlogger. Ruptured aortic aneurysm, one medical condition that is very popular nowadays. Napaka most search niya na medical condition and I admit marami nagtatanong sa akin regarding that one. Marami nag even be requesting for me to make this video. And as a doctor, I think it is also one of my responsibilities to share what I know regarding this medical condition. Ruptured aortic aneurysm, let us dissect the terms. Ruptured, syempre, pumutok. Aortic, from the word aorta, your aorta is the largest, pinakamalaki na blood vessel in our body. It is a blood vessel that comes from your heart and then runs towards your chest and the abdomen. Actually, ng aorta, meron siyang ascending aorta, may descending aorta, and the terminal segment of your aorta is your abdominal aorta. Majority of aortic aneurysms actually occur in your abdominal area, in your abdomen. And then aneurysm. So yung aneurysm po natin is a localized dilatation of your greater vessels or the bigger vessels, just like your aorta that is related to regional weakening of the structure sa blood vessel mo. So, meaning, hindi ko alam talaga yung Tagalog ng dilatation, pero yon yung parang paglaki or pamamaga, may bulging sa blood vessels po natin. So, yung blood vessels natin, ganyan, imagine na nakaganyan, tas may bulges siya. Blood vessels may mga bulges kasi lumaki siya, nag-expand siya for a lot of reasons, for a lot of causes, causes that I will discuss next. So, symptoms ng aortic aneurysm, sa totoo lang, napaka-tricky ng medical condition na to kasi it, it grows slowly without symptoms. Kung may symptoms man siya, abdominal pain, minsan yun nga sa abdomen area, back pain, and then may mga times din na nagpo-pulsate siya dun sa may abdominal area mo. So, dun pa lang, ah, usually may advantage yung mga patients that are very keen to medical consults pag may mga nararamdaman pa lang sa abdomen, mga abdominal pain, ganun. Kasi, incidental finding siya usually na detect Kaga, yung abdominal pain niya, minsan vague pa siya, hindi mo siya ma-associate na, ala, may abdominal aortic aneurysm na pala yung pasyente. So, incidental finding siya almost always or may nagpapalsate nga sa abdominal area nyo. So, that mag iisip mo na, ah, pwedeng aneurysm ito or growing aneurysm pa lang siya. Fortunately, if ever na na-detect na earlier, so, di ba, pwede nang, pwedeng gawa ng paraan yan. It's either watchful waiting, mamomonitor lang mamomonitor, or surgery, repair of the dilatation or the aneurysm. Aneurysms can develop anywhere sa aorta, just like what I've said, di ba? May ascending, may descending, and then yun yan, yung may abdominal aortic aneurysm na which is like the most common, yung nasa abdominal area na mag-aneurysm. A number of factors can cause or can develop aneurysm and one of them is atherosclerosis or the hardening of the arteries. Especially yun na, nag-deposit din yung fats, mga other substances, tapos nag-deposit around the arteries, kumakapal, nagiging narrow yung lumen, and consequently, kaya din, nagkakaroon ng hypertension or elevation of blood pressure dahil din doon sa mga atherosclerotic na mga blood vessels na yon And then, yung elevated BP, yun, isa din yun ng risk factor or isang cause na kung bakit nagkakaroon din ng aneurysm. And then also, we have the blood vessel diseases, meron din mga inflammation or infection of the aorta and then trauma and that includes mga car accident na biglang natatamaan yung abdominal area yun nakakakos yun ng aneurysm also yung mga maneuvers like your CPR 
Pero of course, nasi CPR po tayo syempre sa may thoracic area na part, hindi naman talaga usually sa may abdomen. However, yung pressure kasi pag, na, pag may pressure, rarely nakakas po siya ng aneurysm and eventually nag-rupture siya. Yung common risk factors for abdominal aortic aneurysms, tobacco use, smoking, yun talaga. At saka actually, usually they occur in men. Pero of course, pwede pa din naman in females. But usually sa male siya, and yung age niya is 65 years and older. So sa older talaga yung age ng population or yung mga risk factors na magkakaroon ng aneurysm. And of course, pag may family history ng may mga aneurysm. And we go to the a very interesting association na ang aneurysm can also be caused by drugs daw. Maraming tatanong niyan. And of course, ako as a doctor, you always have to have evidence base, di ba po? And yes, it is very rare, but it can happen. And I've come across to a journal and... This journal studied aneurysm being caused by cocaine, by drug abuse. So there, conclusion niya po na cocaine can actually cause aneurysms. In that journal or in that case presentation, it concludes that cocaine can be a predisposing factor for aortic aneurysms in a previously healthy young individual. So, yung isang study yon And usually, pag may study na ganun, it happens. They've researched about it. They've ruled out hypertension. They've ruled out congenital congenital anomalies. Isang journal yun na nagsasabi that cocaine or illicit drugs can cause aneurysm. But, of course, hindi pa masyadong madaming studies yan. So, rare talaga siya na case. But it can. So, for those asking, yes, drugs illicit drugs can cause or can be a predisposing factor in causing aneurysm. And that journal is evidence-based but it is very rare and kung baga, hindi naman lahat na nagda-drug abuse isi-city scan na lang para malaman talaga na ah, meron siyang aneurysm or starting or beginning aneurysm may nagbabulge na yung sa mga, yung mga blood vessels na gano'n. Hindi naman din. Hindi naman ginagawa yun unless talagang napaka-passionate ng isang doctor na gawin yun para lang to prove the point that illicit drugs can cause aneurysm. Yung aneurysm, nadidetect na lang siya pag nag-rupture na to kasi may sudden intense abdominal pain na nadidescribe as tearing sensation. Nakikita namin yan sa emergency room eh. Yung sobrang-sobrang sakit, nag-hypotension, meaning naglo na yung BP, tas nagtatakikardia, meaning fast yung heart rate. Sunod-sunod na yan. And then usually, nawawala na ng malay. Ayun, because nag-rupture na nga yung aneurysm. Almost always, doon na nadidetect na ayun na nga. Ruptured aortic aneurysm na siya. Kaya minsan, pag na-diagnose na siya doon, imaginein mo na lang yung sobrang laki ng aorta, nag-internal bleeding sa loob, hindi, especially pag ilang oras na yung atake, mag expire talaga yung patient, yung tao, pag hindi talaga na-diagnose early. Actually, aortic aneurysms can be prevented, especially pag may mga family history kayo ng aneurysm, may family history kayo ng hypertension, you know, cessation of tobacco use, smoking, yung hypertension should be controlled, and of course, lifestyle, exercise, healthy lifestyle. Kasi, to prevent atherosclerosis or the depos depositing of yung mga fatty lipid deposition sa mga blood vessels ninyo. So, yun. It can be prevented. So, there you have it, guys. My piece regarding this medical condition. I'm sorry. I am currently experiencing allergic rhinitis. That's my voice. Don't forget to like and subscribe in my channel. Share this video and click on that notification bell to be updated in my latest uploads. I hope you learned something from this video. Comment down below if you have a lot of questions. And see you in my next one. Bye-bye.